She's Rezvan, she's hungry, and grumpy. <laughs> so we're gonna try to get through this video quick, but you're gonna catch this at the end, so. Here we go. You gonna say hello? Hello. <laughs> hello, I'm Steven. I'm grumpy, Rezvan. <laughs> and we're Cardboard Coalition. Today, <laughs> what are we gonna bring them a review of? Of the trails, trails. <laughs> trails. This is a Keymaster game and uh, 59 parks. They work together to make it. It's for two to four players. It's for ages 10 plus, and it takes 20 to 40 minutes. Do you think it took us 20 to 40 minutes to play? Yes. Okay. We if got... they don't want to go between the game for clean their room. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be 20 to 40 minutes if they don't come in and clean the room while you're trying to do this. All right, so let's go through this. The theme, the theme of the game. So the theme is what the game's about. So I would say the game's about hiking the national parks. So you have different parks that you go through. You're kind of hiking through all of them. You're jumping all around. Um, but I would say hiking through national parks. What do you think? I like it. You like it? So... It was in you know, and it don't have a lot of challenge for me. There's not a lot of challenge yet. No. There's definitely not a lot of reading. You say true. It's make people relax. It's a relaxing game. For a spend time and relaxing game. Until it's someone's... A... Until someone's losing. <laughs> okay, say. <laughs> all right. 20 minutes is going to be done. All right, all right, 20 minutes is going to be done. All right, so the mechanics of the game. So looking on BGG, because I tend to call this a worker placement and people disagree with me, they say it's a point movement. You move from one point to the next point, but still you do the action that's there. If you want to know how to play, we did a how to play, still you do the action that's there. So that tells me you place your worker, you do the action. But point movement or worker um, placement, there is set collection. So let's see if we can grab some of these cards. You can get different cards, and as Resvon did to me, you can get certain cards that'll build up your set, and then you can just buy any card in that set. It's almost very frustrating when someone gets all the six points. Yeah. All right. So the other thing is a resource management. So you have these res oh, there's a resource card that gives you a whole bunch of stuff. There's <laughs> this is what you get when you get uh, angry chicken. When she's hungry. Oh, it's better I give them like this. Then you can see. Okay. Uh huh. Free, 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 free. free. You can and get free resources and stuff. Free. Free. For each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's resource management. You have that, or the set collections allow you to do that. Resource management. You have resources that you have to collect up, and you can only have eight on you. So sometimes. You want to get to the end of the trail or the, the trailhead, trail end. You want to buy everything, but you can't. I ran into that a whole bunch of times. Did you run into that? You, you, had, you um, already had eight, and you couldn't have enough stuff to buy everything. Usually. Yeah. You have to you make. You have to really wor work about have everything. You have to think what you want to buy, and you have to check everything then. 50-50, sometimes yes, I had everything, sometimes, sometimes no, yeah. yeah. And I would say there's a, there's a kind of stress in that, trying to, not a bad stress, but trying to decide, okay, I can only have eight, I want to buy this, it takes three, this takes three, and trying to work it all out. Sometimes it works, and by getting cards, you get resources which allow you to buy all the cards in your hand. It is possible to buy the two end cards where you're at and the card in your hand, because we both did it multiple times throughout the game. And it feels really good to do that, right? When you get to buy all the cards. All right. Yes. So those would be the mechanics. Um, we could talk about the art really quick. It's the same art as um, the Parks games. I think it's the exact same artist. I like the art. I think it's nice. Yes, me too. Yeah. I think I like it. It, and it's really relaxing, nice art. And if I remember right, and I could be wrong, um, 59... Parks did a whole bunch of posters, and this game uses the art from the posters, but they work with them to do that. All right, so ease of teaching, ease of play. How easy was it to learn? I think it's so easy to teach. Easy for learn. Yeah, 
Really easy? Really easy. Yeah. What mm -hmm. about to play? Easy. Easy. There's... Yes, it's so good because you have a lot of just symbols. You don't need to read, check everything. You don't need to spend a lot of time for that. You can learn that so easy. And you can play, uh, enjoy it of the play. You don't need all, all the time. Open the rules. Oh, okay. What's this? Oh, this. What is that? That. Um, everything. Uh, uh, they they made it how you can understand everything. Yeah, really simple rules. There is some. Um, you want to make sure you follow through all the steps of your turn because you can get mixed up. And I think in multiple games we've got mixed up on whose turn it was because we had to go back and do certain things on turns, things like that. But it's, I would say, easy. So, replayability. Being able to play it over and over again. Vale. Vale, which means yes in Persian. <laughs> There's replayability. Good, bad, really good. Bad, good, really good. Uh, good between good or really good. Okay. I, I put down, I wrote down good, uh, between good and really good. You shuffle um, these middle tiles up, that kind of changes it up. Uh, what cards come out changes it up. Who goes first changes it up. So there is some, but also remember this is the size of the box. It's it's meant to travel. This is, I, I feel like it's meant to travel. It's supposed to be a simple game that when you go on a road trip, I mean, we brought this halfway around the world, right, to be able to play, but it's meant to be small and compact. So good replayability for the size. Now production value. The pieces, how well the pieces are made. I love it. You love it? With the wood, they made it, and it gives you good feeling when you touch it. It gives you good feeling, and I really like it. Yeah, the little bears. Yeah. The cardboard is just your average cardboard, um, but once again, they want it all to fit in the box. They want it to be light. So I put production value is pretty good, or I put it at good. Um, in parks, the game this is based off of, these are all different um, shapes, like the leaf is a leaf shape. But once again, for room and simplicity, I understand the cubes and price. All right, um, anything else on production? I would say the, the manual is pretty easy to read through. And then when you wanna know, because some of these um, badges, the cards that you collect up, have different abilities. There's a really quick chart in the back. It's the almost the back. It's, last two pages that you can flip through and it helps like you understand. This. Yeah, like understanding the extra stuff, being able to understand. All right, now the MSRP. So we're looking at the value versus cost. So um, MSRP for this is $19.99. If you can find it, if I remember, once again, if I remember right, it was made for Target. Um, Target wanted the game, so they designed a game for Target so they can sell. You can sometimes find it in different places. Um, I got our copy for $15, though, from a local shop by us. Um, so I got it for, I think, $14.99 instead of $19.99. But we'll look at it at $19.99. So for $20, for what you get out of playing it, what do you think? About two zero. Two zero. Beast. So good. For $20, I think it's so good. So you'd be happy buying this at $20 yes. and everything you got. With $20, it's it's fair. Fair. I put a good value, too, at $20. I think it's fair for everything you get. We didn't even talk about the little wooden die, which is fun. Um, I think it's it's, good. it's not make you tired, make yeah. you relax, spend good time. Yeah. You have to spend time with for each other. For $20, yeah. I think it's it's good. Yeah, and the compact size. Yeah, small box. and for travel. Yeah. You can have it. It's not a lot of heavy. Nice art. It's nice art. So I think the, the value versus cost is good. We can say good. Um, and then our last thing that we do um, all the time, I've been meaning to add weight. I'll do it in the next um, review. The weight is how complicated it is to play the game. Like this is really lightweight. Move, do the thing. Some games there's more, right? Things like that. Like Zombicide is not hard, but there's more than this, right? So it's a little heavier than this one, but we'll do. We'll start doing weights. I'll put it in my little list and we'll start doing weights later based on BGG. All right, so our final thing that we always do, would you play the game again? Belle. Belle, which means Belle. yes in Persian. Yes. Um, do you exactly. want to play it again because you want to beat me? 
Oh no. Okay, just check in. We no, played three just times. I want to play a game again. If you promise, don't tell. I, I, don't, I don't think I do that. But. I already take a video. <laughs> she said she'll take a video. I don't think I do. I think she does. I think she's a, she's a poor winner. When she's going to win, she laughs at you. And when she's going to lose, when I'm she lose, yells at you. I'm going to sad, really sad. When I win. She, she's overly happy. No. Um, rub it in your face happy. But, so you would play it again. Would you yes, ask exactly. to play it again? If you're with some of your friends, would you ask them, do you guys want to play this game? Yes. Yes? I want to try with some of our friends. Yeah. I, too, I would play it again. I think it's fun. It's relaxing. It's a shorter version of Parks, the travel version. So there might be some um, conditions that bring it up instead of Parks. Um because we, we own parks, too. Yes. And, but, and we played just both of us. I want to try play with the other people, four people. Yeah. It plays up to four people, so it'd be nice to play with other people. And once again, we know we buy the game, so of course we probably would play them again. And we would ask to play. Every once in a while we have a game where I'm kind of iffy about. But is there anything else you want to say? Mm, no. Did you cover everything? everything? Yes. All right. So, um... The one thing we can do now, if you watch the how to play, or if you're going to go back and watch it, we didn't explain the cards, and maybe I'll do it right now really quick. So, yeah, we have the, the cards, time. you have the type of card it is, This the name of the card, so you can look it up. This is just a picture, some art. This is the cost of the card. This is your reward for the card. This is points. I, I did say that, and these are birds, so you get your points, your birds, and this one in particular says you get a roll of the bear die, but you can also look up the card to make sure. So there's the card. That's a little extra to talk how to play. A little bit about. Um, we don't have to. They, 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 can, they can look okay. it up. Yeah. Okay. So that's our review with a little extra for the how to play. Um, you can watch how to play and probably figure it out without us explaining the card. But that's our review of Trails from um, Keymaster Games. Well, down here it says a parks game, so you know it's connected to parks, but you can tell by the art. But a Keymaster game uh, with 59 parks. I'm Steven. Lizard. And we're Cardboard Collation. Catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye bye.